Hey guys, welcome once again. It's Saturday. We're going to do a recap, but I got one little section left to cover here in Psalms chapter 23. It's in verse 6. It says, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Once again, if the Lord is your shepherd, you need to know him as shepherd. That shepherd is not going to allow anything to happen to you. He's got your back. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow you. Why? Because he is a God of mercy. Amen. And a God of goodness. But you need to dwell. We, You and me need to dwell in the house of the Lord forever. We need to know that, in fact, the Bible talks about us being the temple of the living God. We need to know that God is with us. We need to make this temple a temple that is... is uh, uh, pure and holy and righteous before him and how do we do that again by spending time with him so let's recap again it says the lord is my shepherd boy make him the shepherd of your life let him lead you don't you try to lead him in fact in uh, john chapter um i'm sorry romans chapter 8 it says that uh, those that are led by the Spirit of God, these are the children of God. We need to be led by Him, not try to lead Him around. Not try to manipulate God, but allow Him to show us His plan for our life. Amen? Um, and when we do that, we shall not want. Why? Because He makes us lay down in His, in his rest. Remember we talked about that rest, that God, Jesus has created a rest for us because of what he accomplished at Calvary. And so he says, come and lay down. And remember when it says, by still waters, when it talks about waters, it's talking about the presence of God. So we need to rest in the presence of God. And it goes on to say, and there, at that point, he'll restore our soul. He will restore our soul. Amen. And uh, he'll lead us in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake sake praise god let's go on because this is where it turns yea though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i'll fear no evil and there's the key yes sometimes we're going to get into a situation where it seems like man are we in the valley of the shadow of death you may be there you may have turned the wrong direction but my bible says um, god makes all things work together for the good for those that love him and are called according to his purpose so even if you made the wrong decision even if you got yourself in a place guess what you can still call on god don't fear let his rod and his staff comfort you amen and then it says Right in the midst of our enemies, he prepares a table. He says, come and sit down with me. Don't worry about the enemies. Let you and I have a time together. And he prepares this, this table in the presence. He doesn't take us out of our, the, the presence of our enemies, but right there with them surrounding us, he prepares a table and says, come, let us sup together. Let us sit down and let us communicate with one another. Don't worry about it, even if it's in the midst of our enemies. Isn't that amazing? Um, and then he anoints our head with oil. Remember, we talked about the anointing. If you look in uh, Isaiah chapter 10, uh, it says that the anointing removes the burdens and destroys the yoke. And remember, uh, anointing there, the word is mashak, which means Messiah. It's later translated in, in uh, the New Testament as Christo, which is the Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus, the anointed one. And that anointing will remove burdens and joy, uh, destroy yokes. That's why you are called a Christian, a Christian. That anointing, that mantle that Jesus has passed on to you and I, removes burdens and destroy yokes. We can walk by faith and receive that. Our strength, our power, our authority comes through Jesus Christ, our shepherd. Amen. Um, and it said, my cup runneth over. My cup, he fills me up to overflow. All you got to do is ask him. Fill me up with your joy. Fill me up with your peace. Lord, you are my shepherd. And finally, surely goodness and mercy, once again, uh, shall follow me all the days of, of my life. Do you believe that? You need to today. I hope this study has helped you. It sure has helped me. And um, remember, today is Saturday. Tomorrow's Sunday. Go to church. 
learn more about God and enjoy his presence. Look, at if you're going there to find perfect people, you won't find them. But you sure can find a perfect Savior. And all those other people that you see at church, they're just like you. Amen. Saved by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Hey, Jesus loves you. I love you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.